Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about AC through pure capacitor. Let us consider a pure capacitor. So first of all, the pure capacitor means the internal resistance of the capacitor is zero. Okay, such a capacitor is called as a pure capacitor. So this pure capacitor was excited by a sinusoidal input voltage V equal to Vm sin omega t. Omega t can also be treated as theta. So now we are interested in finding the current relation. So how much current that is flowing through this pure capacitor when it was excited by an AC input. So we all know very well that Q is equal to CV. Okay, so what is current? So current is nothing but dQ by t, that is rate of change of charge. So for that, I need dQ by dt. So differentiate on both sides of this equation. There you get dQ by dt is equal to d by dt of Cv. There you can substitute V as Vm sin omega t. This is one method. And other method, so directly we all know very well that the voltage across the capacitor is equal to 1 by C integral I dt. So, we are interested in current relation. So, that's why I want current relation. So, by 1 is there. So, just have the cross multiplication. There you get C into voltage across the capacitor. So, here voltage across the capacitor is simply the supply voltage. So, that's why we can place V instead of Vc. So, which is equal to integral of I dt. So, I want I. So, differentiate on both sides. I am writing the current as a first member here. So, I is equal to d by dt of C into V. So, in both the ways you can expect the same kind of relation and this dq by dt I already told you that this term is nothing but current I. Okay. So, finally we will be getting current I is equal to d by dt of c into v. The c is independent of time t. So, make outside the differentiation and also substitute the relation for v as vm sin omega t. That means this equation 1. Okay. So, this is i is equal to c into d by dt of instead of v, we can write vm sin omega t. So, here Vm is also independent of T. So, make outside the differentiation. So, we can get I is equal to C into Vm into d by dt of sin omega T. So, the differentiation for sin is cos omega T into omega. So, therefore, I is equal to C into Vm into cos omega T into omega. This is the differentiation. So, we can rearrange this equation like this. See, this is I is equal to Vm by 1 by omega C. There won't be any difference in the relation. So, cos omega T can be written as sin omega T plus pi by 2 we may write. This portion is there now 1 by omega C. So, this one will be considered as the reactance of the capacitor. So, represented by the letter Xc. So, which is equal to Vm by Xc into sin omega t plus pi by 2. This is the current relation. And also, what is Vm by Xc? This is simply the maximum current that is passing through this capacitor, pure capacitor. So, I is equal to Im sin omega t plus pi by 2. Clear? So, this equation, call it as equation 2. So, on a final note, what we can say? That we got two relations for voltage and current. That is, V is equal to Vm sin omega t also be called as vm sin theta. This is our first equation, applied equation, applied voltage. So, now current I is equal to im sin omega t plus pi by 2. Also be called as im sin theta plus pi by 2. 
this is equation 2 so this is these two equations are the voltage and current relations in a pure capacitor the same can be observed in the second way of representation that is called the graphical representation so here we can observe see this is the voltage uh, waveform okay so this is the voltage waveform this one and now what about the current so current you, you just observe the current relation so current equation so here is theta plus pi by 2 so that means current is leading voltage by an angle of 90 degrees or pi by 2 radians okay so i'll redraw here see if this is theta let me count theta okay so this is the voltage waveform now the current is leading by an angle of 90 okay so you just extend the x-axis like this and you just draw the, here the angle is 0 so make it as 90 let us say 90 or pi by 2 okay so already the current was started okay so like this clear so this is the current waveform so in most of the textbooks and also uh, uh, in this particular uh, figure you can observe so there won't be extension after your y-axis so you just erase this por portion okay so that it looks the same okay so now it is same as uh, whatever the waveform that we have plotted just next to our uh, uh, you know so this one first one okay so now what about the power relations so this is uh, what kind of representation this is called the graphical representation so after the completion of vector or phase representation we'll come back for the power okay so now so graphical representation was over and equation representation was over now phase representation phase or vector vector representation so for that you consider the voltage across the capacitor here is the supply voltage itself so voltage v so what happened with the current so current is leading so that's why you have to take the current on this side so this is the current through the capacitor which is leading voltage by an angle of 90 degrees so already i told you leading and lagging so always look in a anti-clockwise direction this head indicates leading tail indicates lagging okay so how we should read so current is leading voltage by an angle of 90 degrees or voltage is lagging current by an angle of 90 degrees so in either way we can state the statement for a pure capacitor when excited by an ac input now we talk about the power relation okay so look at this i will erase this portion now power relation so power p is equal to voltage into current voltage relation that is v equal to vm sin theta and current relation i is equal to im sin theta plus pi by 2 okay so theta plus pi by 2 so how uh, sine theta plus pi by 2 can be written as cos theta right so just write it so vm im sine theta again this portion is cos theta so just multiply and divide with 2 so by 2 into 2 sine theta cos theta so there you can get vm by root 2 it doesn't matter you'll be getting 0 only root 2 this is sine sine 2 theta that is double the frequency so whenever you observe the double the frequency how, how can I, I say that it's a double the frequency because theta is omega t so 2 theta means this is 2 into omega t that means this uh, this is the angular uh, frequency right so 2 pi f so that is double the angular frequency or simply double the frequency so whenever you observe double the frequency the average power is going to be zero so that's why the power 
dissipation through the capacitor is always zero like in the case of pure inductor so the same thing that you that we can observe in the graph sheet also so here you just observe at this point voltage is zero current got some maximum value but still the product voltage into current that is simply power so got zero value so like that if you keep on multiplying the voltage and current at at, at any every instant there you can get a positive half cycle of your power within 90 degrees and similarly if you go for the next 90 degrees you'll be getting a negative half cycle of your power that means in the angle 0 to 180 degrees you are getting a complete cycle for the power so if you observe the average power so that is obviously zero in positive half cycle the power will be stored in the capacitor so when the, there is no power that means uh, the power dissipation i mean uh, uh, power uh, storage is not happening in the capacitor the capacitor will behave itself like a source so in the positive half cycle power will be stored it, it is not consumed but is of stored it will stores the energy whenever there is a power off condition okay so it will behaves like a source okay so that means on an average or a complete cycle the average power is going to be zero so that's why power dissipation is zero in the case of pure capacitor okay so this is how you have to understand uh, the relations voltage current and power relations in the case of pure capacitor so quickly uh, uh, i'll be telling the relations like this so this one this is current and voltage relations in equation form and suppose theta this is the voltage waveform this is the voltage waveform current is leading okay so at 90 degrees before only if it is in the case of pure capacitor so current got its maximum value so this is the current waveform this is graphical representation and this one is a phasor or vector representation okay so i hope you understand the concept and if you got any doubt please comment i'll be answering each and every question thank you so much for watching this video